So you don't know how to move objects in ZBrush. Not a problem. While you have an object selected with your subtool, you can go up here or press W to bring up the gizmo. Dragging the arrows will move the object. Dragging the axis will rotate it, and dragging the rectangles in between will change its size. If you click the yellow square in the middle, it'll increase the entire scale at the same time. You can also click the gray box around it to drag it perpendicular to the camera. Now, if you hold Alt, you'll be able to move the gizmo without moving the object which is extremely helpful because the gizmo is the origin. So if you need things to stretch or rotate from a custom origin, you can do that by relocating the gizmo. If you press the home button, the gizmo will return to the perfect center of the scene. If you click the arrow, it will orient itself at a perfect default X, Y, and Z angle forward. If you click the GPS icon, the gizmo will move to the center of your object's mass, and this is affected by masking. So without any mask, it goes to the perfect center. But if you mask half of it, it will go to the center of the area that is unmasked. So it's really easy to use this to control objects. A common thing that I use it for is when I'm dragging custom objects out of a brush, then I activate the gizmo, fix orientation, bring it home, and now it's in the perfect center and I can perfectly place it wherever I need. If you hold shift while rotating, it will snap at every five degrees, which is really useful if you're trying to rotate at something like a perfect 90 degree angle. The last thing is if you have multiple objects and you wanna move them all at the same time, activate the gizmo and click the stack. Hold control, shift, and click outside the objects. From here, hold control and shift and click on all the objects you want to move. And now if you move the gizmo, it will only affect the selected objects. If you control, shift, click outside again, you will invert the selection. And at any point, if you hold control, shift, and drag select outside, it will clear your selection. When you're done, you can go up here or press Q, and you'll be back to sculpting in no time. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.